I mean, I was just interested in, in science and looking at the stars and rocks and all the, all the things that um, were unusual for a little girl growing up in the 40s and the 50s, really. And I stuck with that uh, through, through college. I was an environmental activist, really, in the in the '60s when I was in when I was in college, and I was doing a lot of reading um, from some, from many of the uh, scientists, mainly ecologists and biologists, who also had become um, so activists in terms of uh, being very concerned about the environment. Well, in '70, actually, Don Normando, uh, the founder of this company, Normando Associates, had formed this company, and I came over and talked with Don Normando, and he. You know, he hired me, nothing like long, they weren't like real positions or stuff like that. He said, well, we, we are, you know, we're a little busy right now and we do need some help and you look like you're really qualified. So you, you made that leap of faith and now, 50 years later, you're still here at Normando. Here I am, yeah. uh, that's a remarkable achievement nowadays to stay with one company for that long. Can you tell us, what, what do you, how do you think that happened? I could be a little biased here, but it, it was, recognized as a pretty excellent company, a very excellent company for the sciences. And I sort of stayed with the same company, but the next layer around me kept changing because Don Normando sold us more than once while I worked here. What had you been doing before then? You know, your personal trajectory through the company. I got into the management end of things while I was still a marine biologist and and I um, took over management of the lab, the marine biology lab that we had in Portsmouth. So I started taking business courses uh, up at the University of New Hampshire at the Whittemore School. That was, uh, that's what really got me into, into more management. Now, were you in management before Thermo Electron bought Normando? Yes, after Don Normando had bought the company back, then I was made the, the vice president of the company, vice president of operations. And I sort of knew at that point in time that uh, I probably would not be going back to my days of operating boats and working, doing samples. And So, uh, yet again, an example of how you, you've you stayed with Normando, but Normando changed. The next chapter of Normando involved the employees buying the company back from Thermo. So in a way, maybe you did fulfill that entrepreneurial dream. Can you tell us a little bit about that chapter? Yeah, yeah sure. I had always thought, that these professional services companies, where the people are the assets, that they should own a piece of the company. What are some of the other key or core guiding principles that you've tried to guide the company by over your 30 years of leadership? One of the key things uh, is I've always tried to keep this a um, specialty science-based company, doing really good science and not trying to be all things to all people. Another one that we've always focused on is uh, is ethics and integrity. You were in environmental science Mm. at a time when there weren't many women around. Mm. But now, what would your advice be to a woman who told you that they wanted to become an an environmental scientist or go into the environmental consulting industry? Uh, I think it's a wonderful uh, profession to to be in. Uh, You know, if you have a passion for this type of work, and the need is certainly there, and it's urgent. Norman Doe has been one of the, the longest um, members of EBC. I think the company joined shortly after the EBC was formed. Mm-hmm. Um, and you personally have been on the board for what, over almost, for 25 years 25 before years, you yeah. stepped down last year. Many of those years were treasurer. What has the EBC meant to you? What do you think it's meant to the industry? It's an excellent organization for anybody that's in the environmental business and now it's an environment and energy. It's great for networking, it's great for meeting friends. That's where you and I met Mm -hmm. 100,000 years ago. Your thoughtfulness about your career path, you know, how driven you are to keep learning, your spirit of giving back, your professional pride, your care about your community, your employees. And that's the reason why, you know, on behalf of the EBC, I just can't tell you how pleased we are to be able to recognize your brilliant career with this Lifetime Achievement Award. Well, thank you, Mary. Thank you.